All right, so we're here with, with uh, Chantel Mitchell at uh, beautiful, I mean, beautiful Classy Lane uh, Farms, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. I mean, uh, is this one of the best uh, farms here in Canada? I think so. You are one of the nicest tracks. What, what do they have, an in track, a 5 eighths, a mile? Um, How big is this track? It's a 7 eighths mile track, and in the inside, there's a third of a mile jog sand track, but okay. then they extended it last summer, I think. There's a 5 eighths sand track as well that goes around. So. Okay, so... Uh, it's pretty nice. We got, uh, it's Breeders' Crown Week, uh, you have uh, three, we got three horses here, right? Yes. Uh, Stonebridge Soul, Alicorn, and Better's Wish. Yep. So, apparently Chris, uh, Chris Ryder told me you're the authority on all, <laughs> he's playing groom this week, right? Uh, so you're directing him around, is that pretty much how it is? Are you the, the Canadian, uh, like, you house them when they come up here, and then he's when when they're down in what's he in Jersey, right? Yeah. Yeah. So is that kind of how the setup is? Well, pretty much. If he has horses to race here, he just calls me up, and we get some stalls ready, and we we help them out here. We get them done. So uh, then sometimes he's here to train them. Other times, if he can't make it, we usually we, we discuss what has to be done, and we make sure everything. And, and, and no issue, right? But yeah, how is it with him playing groom this week? Or do you have? You playing big time trainer, cup of coffee. I, listen, I seen her with a cup of coffee just barking orders at Chris. Hey, make sure you get his feet, brush his mane, you know. Listen, he tried to give me that, oh, he doesn't like his mane brushed. That's what every groom tries to pull, right? Sit there and brush the horse for five minutes, right, Chris? Right. Exactly. Put a little elbow grease in. Put a little elbow grease in. Uh, so let's talk about the, the three. Um, uh, Alicorn's yours, yeah. right? And then the other two are Chris's, yeah. right? So, but but you've had them throughout the year, right? Yeah. Back and forth. Well, last year he sent uh, Better's Wish up to us to train um, for the summer because okay. he was Ontario sired, so he was here for pretty much the entire summer. He left to go for Kentucky sire stakes, so Chris took over again down there. Right. And then he came back, and then this year he, he just got to be too good. So he just stayed down there. Well, yeah. would you say that you? set him up for all the success are you taking full credit for for his success i won't take full credit but you know it's a 90 team 10 team right effort. yeah team effort. Effort. okay team effort, team effort. uh stonebridge soul same thing was she up here last year she didn't have any stakes here um but she came up for the fan handover last uh in june okay and then she came back now for the Raiders crown okay so uh the, so you don't know as much about her but she's a uh, she seems to be a nice solid filly about her as far as the final uh are you do you stress uh ones like her or are you going to stress alicorn more uh you know what they're all equally as stressful i want to make sure that they make it to the tension bar and that they're eating like they're supposed to eat and that they put an effort on the track so i mean we're gonna treat them all the same it doesn't matter if it's alicorn if it's over soul or, okay. or if it's point point grandson it doesn't matter they all get treated grandson was snapping in there he's all day. I was gonna, he's like, he's, you know, he's, he sounds like my type of horse where he eats and sleeps and just don't bother me, leave me alone. He gets up, he goes out, he comes in, he sleeps, he jogs, he eats a little bit, good goes horse. to sleep. Yeah. Good horse. He gets up, put him away, and then it's time to feed lunch usually. So, uh, so with, with, uh, with Alicorn, uh, let's talk about her first. Mm -hmm. um, does she have a nickname? But she got a few. I mean, I, I call her Corny a lot. Okay. Uh, a lot of people call her Allie. Okay. So that's, that's kind of. And then she gets the grumpy corn when she's at the track. We call her grumpy corn. Oh, okay. The track. So she's, she, she's a little temperamental. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, fair <laughs> enough. Fair enough. How has her um, season been uh, leading up to this uh, to this Breeders' Cup? Her season's been phenomenal. I really can't complain about her. She puts 100% on the track every time she goes out there. Um, Which? Uh, what was the name of the race she won? Because I can't remember all the the, the stuff. Uh, she won uh, division of the Eternal Cam Nation. Right. Right. The Eternal Cam Nation. Yeah. Right. And she was. She was second to Lion Sentinel in the who Lion Sentinel. Yeah, right, yeah, exactly. Yeah. So the, in the she's a great lady, but she won her limb. She, she's been good at winning limbs up until the Breeders' Crown. We just got nosed out. Just got nosed out. Yeah. So uh, uh, heading into the final, uh, you got Priceless and Lion Sentinel, who are who are beasts. Yes. So uh, what do, what do you think Alicorn does better than those two? What does she do better than yeah. those two? Well, yeah. Um, Oh yeah, listen. But but it's just like saying LeBron James is you know steps better at three pointers than uh, well do they have basketball up here? I don't know. What's a hockey? What's a hockey thing? But you know what I mean. Like Alicorn, does she have a specialty, or she can she do pretty much anything that's asked of her? You know what? She can do anything you ask her. She can race her from off the pace, and you can race her on the front. Um, most of the year, she's had to race on the front end. Okay. Just because of the way the races are set up, and I I know she can race. 
yourself a helmet is probably better than okay. on the front. So, so we got three horses that are pretty much front runners. It yeah. looks like. Uh, do you think they're all going to be fighting for the lead, or do you think uh, you know one of them will back off, and, or or your horse will back off? And, and, I think. Uh, how, how's uh, Alicorn going to win the race, or do you leave that up to uh, to, to you know it would be great if she, if she got a two hole trip? That would be awesome. But okay. I don't I don't tell Louis what to do. You know I let him drive the way he feels when he's driving her. Uh, Listen, non secretly, Louis is my favorite uh, favorite driver. Is he? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> So uh, we, that, that's why he makes the money, and that, let him figure that out, right? That's it. Yeah, you might you might offend some of those other guys. Like I don't Tim care. Tim Tetrick. I don't and, care. No, that's they're no. they're like it's like Dexter's Louis. And... It's like Louis, and then the rest. Yeah. You know, they're all <laughs> tied for number two. Maybe some are are, are dropped the tier low, but that's okay. okay. I, I have no no shame about that. It's not secret <laughs> or at, at all. Um, now, what about so? This is your horse, but like you said, Better's Wish is almost. I mean, you're taking 90 to 10 credit as what you said before. So. <laughs> Uh, how has it been watching him perform all year, like you said? Uh, did he race in any Ontario Sire Stakes at all? Not one, no. Not one? No, he was too good to come back here. He'd he was too good. in the but, Grand Circuit races this year. But the goals, I mean, they go for good money. They do. Right? They do. Like, what's the finals go for? 250? 225. 225? But, I mean, you're going to factor in the exchange rate. Like, okay. he raced, instead he was able to race in the uh, Kentucky Sire Stakes finals all for 250. Okay, yeah. U.S. So, I mean... That's better, and he's got owners that are right from Kentucky, so oh, okay, for them, okay. all right, all right, their all home right, track, right, it's, right. A, it's a little more. Are they coming up here? I believe everybody's coming up this okay. weekend for him. Yeah, I do believe they are. So, so I mean, you told me before these three horses are pretty, uh, pretty boring as far as in the barn goes. They go out, they do their job, they come back in, they eat, and they do a lot of sleep. They sleep. <laughs> you take them out. You you know you brush them. You love them up. It's just like. It's like a relationship after five years, you know, it's just like, you know what's happening, there's no, you know, the honeymoon stage is over, right? It's just, they, they, everybody knows what they're doing. That's it, Stone Bridge Soul, she's as, as quiet as can be, you can let an infant look after her. Just chilling there, you know, I mean, is that, we've all had horses that are little nuts, a little, little, little eccentric, mm -hmm. um, is, does it get boring when you have these three that are just okay? Go out and jog. There's nothing wrong with them. Boom, you know. It's, that's it on the track. There, that's it. There's nothing. It's like A or B. You know, they're, they're good, which is all the time. And if they're not good, something's obviously wrong. Right. But um, the two betters, the lights, Alley Corn Betters, which they bite. They bite. They okay. bite. That's okay. that's their bad. Their mouth. They okay. Bite. And actually, this this summer, uh, I was talking to Linda Siscano early on, and she said she calls them biters, the lights. And ever, since, delights, okay. ever since she said that to me, it stuck. And then I got thinking of all the betters the lights I've ever okay, had. All, and they all bite. They're so, all playful, right? Yeah. They're just, they're Nothing playful. mean, just just they want to make they, sure they grab I'm hold here. Of you. Yeah, I'm exactly. Here. You better yeah. pay attention to them or they'll grab hold of you. Regular work week this week? I mean, have... Is it stressful? <laughs> Can you have fun? You can have fun, I guess. You got, you got media guys like me boring, uh, bothering you all week long, photos, videos, stuff like That's that. That's probably the most stressful part is fitting all that stuff in. Okay. Yeah. Well, I was, listen, I was <laughs> as uh, welcoming as whatever time you, so I don't know about the other media guys. <laughs> They're very, uh, I although they say I'm the prima donna media guy, you know, but I was very welcome. Whatever time you want, I will hear, no, right? You are, you yes, are. I was good. amazing, yeah, right? Yes, good. yes. Mm -hmm. uh, so this week, I mean, it's pretty, pretty fun, right, though, when you think about it? It is fun. It's kind of a whirlwind, you know. And that's, I said I made a joke today. When Chris is here, Chris Ryder, and I said it's kind of like a hurricane when he's here because you know he's walking around looking for stuff to do. Yeah. Because it's not you're not home, right? When you're not, you have your things to do when you're at home, right? So with, between that and organizing, you're coming here yeah. today. There's other guys taking photos. It's it's it's, it's a lot of work to manage it's those horses. It is. Do you ever uh, do you ever travel outside of here? Do you ever go down to the U.S.? I, I you're did. welcome. I know. You're welcome I, head down I, here. I was born there. You were. I, yeah. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> so um, I've gone not to race. I went down to race once a couple summers ago, just a few horses. But I uh, we got enough racing here. You got enough I racing. I really don't. I don't have to. If I have a horse that's good enough, I'll probably do the same thing. Just send them down to Chris. He sends them to me, so I can. So that's a nice uh, yeah. uh, kind, kind of dual. Uh, thing you got going here. Yeah. So. so, three crowns? Hi, that would be awesome. That would be great. I mean, that's my first crack at the crown with, with Alicorn, so I mean, if she could win, that would be amazing, but 
I, I mean, since you're from America, it's either your first or last, right? <laughs> yeah, that's right. right? That's I mean, oh. or or have you been Canadianized where you're okay with a second or well, third? Well, I'm I'm 50-50. You're I'm 50 dual citizenship, so I. That's what I mean. Have but but you've been living here for how long? Uh, Everybody's so nice here. Twenty it's like, twenty-two years I've been living in Canada. I guess. Oh, wow, twenty. And, uh, uh, so yeah, long time. Yeah, a long time up up here. Yep. Uh, yeah. No, I, I guess everybody's friendly. I I find. I'm pretty friendly. And you race most of your horses at Mohawk? Um, or, or kind of all around? Kind of all around. I, I mean, we're, we're in the middle of a lot of racetracks here. Mm-hmm. so. Well, it's right from our farm. you got your 20, 25 minutes to Mohawk, 20, 25 minutes to Blamro, yeah. 40 minutes to Grand River. So, I mean, we're right in the middle of all those tracks. So, wherever they have races, we that's go. That's where you're going. So, mm-hmm. uh, that's what you're uh, I will let you get back going to do your work. We have, it's an important week for you, so I don't want to take up too much of your time. I think very accommodating, and hopefully no more media bothers you. Or are you are you welcoming of it? Uh, I, you know what? I, I'm welcoming of it. For two weeks out of the year, I guess you can you can That's stand it, it right? We'll, we'll take it. Uh, okay. Are you going to travel to Hoosier Park next year for the Breeders' Crown? If I've got horses to race in it, I will go. Or are you just going to send them with Chris and say, hey, go, go groom and go take care of my horses? <laughs> It'll depend. I mean, if you've got a mile of Better's Wish, I know it's Chris Ryder, Chantel Mitchell, whatever, they're all together. It's all one big yeah, kind of operation. It's a team. Right? So, all right, thank you. No problem, you're welcome.